What I'm going to do now is the layout for the large V. And you can see this is my 2 inch 10 direction. So I have a 1 in 760 and a 1 in 760 here. The reason I'm going to only do the large V and, and just do one set of layout lines at a time is I found that if all of the surfaces are covered in layout lines, they're going to become damaged and, and scratched up while you're clamping and unclamping your part in the vise. So I think it's better just to do them one at a time and uh, you'll just have the, the feature you're about to perform showing. Now, since this is oversized, um, I have two different things I need to do. I could either sit on this surface here and bring my height gauge over, touch off on the table, and then instead of going up 250, I could go up um, 255, and or that would be if I was exactly 1.760. Now, you saw that I was one inch 761 and then 762. Um, and I'm not worried about that 1,000th difference. That's, that's not gonna keep me up at night. That's totally fine. But instead of coming up the quarter inch and then adding half of my, my difference, what I prefer to do is to, to keep my, to work from the center of the part itself. So if I bring down my height gauge, touch, zero. Now I'll come up half of my distance and that's gonna be 881. Now that's in the, the middle of the part. And what I like is it's in the middle of the part if I'm on the surface I'm sitting on or if I flip the part over, it's still the middle of the part. Now I think you probably can guess where I'm going from here. Let me back this out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come up. I re-zero. And then I'm gonna come up 625. And I'm coming up 625 because I'm doing the inch and a quarter wide um, V groove. So. And that'll do it. And then now I can scribe across this surface. I can scribe a little mark on that surface, a little mark on that surface. And then since I'm working from the center, okay. so now I have my lines, they're an inch and a quarter apart, and I have these little tag lines on the end that are the same distance. And what I'm gonna use those for is to take my little angle plate here, my 45, and then I'm gonna line up a scribe to the line to the best of my ability. And then I'm gonna scribe down the part. and then down the part. The point. And I'll do it on both sides. And then after this, I'm gonna go out to the, the machine and we'll get set up. We'll wrap out this stock in preparation for the grinding.